Imagine a secret weapon so powerful it could bring down hospitals, shut down factories, and cripple governments worldwide. All from a single line of code. Sounds like something from a science fiction, right? What if I told you that this weapon existed and was built by a major intelligence agency and then leaked, unleashing chaos across the internet? Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that sounds like something out of a spy movie but had very real world consequences. Eternal Blue. This isn't just a fancy name, it's the name of a powerful exploit that played a central role in some of the most disruptive cyber attacks in history. If you've ever heard of WannaCry or NotPetya, you're probably familiar with the impact. This exploit just isn't a technical curiosity, it's a journey from a top secret cyber weapon to a globally destructive tool that offers critical key lessons for anyone using a computer. It underscores a constant cat and mouse game between the attackers and the defenders, and why even seemingly small vulnerabilities have monumental ripple effects across our connected world. At its core, Eternal Blue is a sophisticated software exploit. It was developed by the US National Security Agency, or NSA, as part of their offensive cyber operations. Now, what made it so potent? It exploited a zero-day vulnerability in Microsoft Windows, specifically a component called the Server Message Block, or SMB Protocol 1 to be exact. This protocol is essentially how Windows computers communicate and share files over a network. Think of it as a crucial pathway. A zero-day vulnerability is particularly insidious because it's a flaw that the software vendor, in this case Microsoft, doesn't know about or hasn't fixed it. This gives attackers free pass until a patch is developed and widely available. SMB version 1, while fundamental in Windows networking, is an older protocol dating back to the 1980s. Its design lacked robust security measures found in later versions, making it a prime target for sophisticated actors. The vulnerability officially identified as CVE 2017-0144 exists because the SMB version block server in various Windows versions mishandled specifically crafted network packets. In simple terms, an attacker could send a maliciously designed packet to a vulnerable computer and, well, they could remotely execute code on that machine. Once remote code execution is achieved, an attacker gains immense power able to install rootkits, deploy ransomware, and steal sensitive data, or completely brick the system altogether. This means they took complete control. Now here's where the story gets even more dramatic. The NSA knew about the vulnerability for years and intentionally kept it under wraps, planning to use it for a tool used for intelligence gathering. However, in April 2017, a mysterious hacker group called the Shadow Brokers leaked Eternal Blue to the public. This was a massive dump of classified NSA hacking tools, and Eternal Blue was perhaps the most significant. This leak immediately put millions of unpatched Windows machines worldwide at extreme risk. The revelation that the NSA had been stockpiling this vulnerability sparked a major global debate about the ethics of government hacking. On one hand, intelligence agencies argue that the tools are vital for national security. On the other hand, cybersecurity experts contend that holding on to such powerful exploits creates immense risk as their eventual leak or discovery can put the entire world at risk. The Shadow Brokers leak wasn't just eternal blue, it exposed an entire arsenal of serious questions about responsible disclosure. It's worth noting that Microsoft actually released a patch for this vulnerability known as MS-17010 on March 14, 2017, just a month before the leak. So while the exploit became public, the fix was already available. Despite Microsoft's patch being available, the reality is that many organizations, especially large ones, have complex IT environments and often lag significantly in applying updates. This patch gap is what precisely WannaCry and NotPetya exploited to devastating effects. Let's break down how Eternal Blue actually achieved its magic. By carefully crafting 
a malicious packet, they could insert their own code into the system's memory and then trick the system into executing it, granting them high-level control. This is the essence of remote code execution. This overflow could then be exploited to inject and execute malicious code. It's like trying to fit too much water into a small cup. Eventually, it overflows. And in this case, the overflow could be controlled by the attacker. What made Eternal Blue truly terrifying is its rememberable capability. Unlike many malware strands that require a user to click on a link or open an attachment, Eternal Blue could scan the entire network ports for vulnerable machines, automatically connect, exploit, and then replicate itself without any human intervention. This enabled incredibly rapid lateral movement across entire organizations, jumping from one unpatched computer to the next within minutes. Once the machine on the network was infected, Eternal Blue could self-propagate, scanning the local network for other vulnerable machines and spreading the malware like wildfire. This is what made it so incredibly dangerous and fast moving. WannaCry leveraged Eternal Blue to spread rapidly across networks, encrypting user files and demanding a Bitcoin ransom for their release. WannaCry's impact was immediate and global. Hospitals in the UK's NHS were forced to divert ambulances and cancel operations as their systems were completely locked down. Factories halted production, train stations displayed ransomware notes, and businesses worldwide grounded to a complete halt. It crippled hospitals, businesses, and government agencies over 150 countries causing billions in dollars of damages. Interestingly enough, a security researcher discovered a kill switch domain that when registered inadvertently stopped WannaCry spread. This limited further damage. However, the reprieve was short-lived just a month later. Another devastating attack, NotPetya, emerged. While often mislabeled as ransomware, NotPetya was actually a wiper designed to destroy data rather than encrypt it. It also used Eternal Blue to propagate and cause mass disruption, particularly in Ukraine, affecting critical infrastructure and global corporations. Napetya just weeks later was far more malicious. Unlike WannaCry, which aimed for profit, Napetya was a destructive cyber attack attributed to Russian military intelligence, disguised as ransomware. It started in Ukraine, quickly spread globally, and permanently wiped data from countless systems, causing billions in damage to shipping companies, pharmaceutical giants, and more. These events highlighted a devastating power of the widely available unpatched vulnerability. It highlighted a terrifying shift. Cyber attacks could now directly achieve geopolitical objectives by causing a widespread infrastructure collapse. You might think, well, that was 2017. Surely everyone's patched now. Unfortunately, that's not entirely true. Even today, years later, millions of machines still use vulnerable SMB1 protocol and remain online, making them susceptible to Eternal Blue and its variants. So why the persistent risk? Many older systems, especially in industrial control environments or small businesses, are left unpatched due to the fear of breaking critical applications. Some users simply neglect updates or are unaware of the risks. This creates a vast attack surface with criminals that continue to exploit them. Security firms continue to block millions of Eternal Blue attack attempts every month. We've even seen Eternal Blue integrated into various other malware strains from crypto miners secretly hijacking your computer's power to botnets used for distributed denial of service attacks. This highlights a critical lesson in cybersecurity. Patching and updating your system isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing vital process. The lesson is clear. A vulnerability once publicly known becomes a permanent weapon in the cyber criminal's arsenal. For organizations and individuals, it's crucial to ensure systems are patched and ideally to disable or remove SMB version 1 if it's not absolutely necessary. Newer, more secure versions of SMB exist and should be used. It's incumbent upon every organization and individual to prioritize regular patching and responsible system configuration. The story of Eternal Blue is a powerful reminder of the constantly evolving cyber threat landscape. It shows us that 
double-edged sword of powerful cyber weapons, the importance of prompt patching, and the ripple effect of vulnerabilities when they fall in the wrong hands. Ultimately, Eternal Blue serves as a stark warning. It illustrates the complex ethical dilemmas faced by intelligence agencies, the critical importance of keeping our software up to date, and the devastating potential of vulnerabilities when weaponized. Its legacy continues to shape our understanding of cyber warfare and the shared responsibility we all have. I hope this deep dive into Eternal Blue was informative. If you've learned something new, please hit that like button, subscribe for more cybersecurity content, and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So take these lessons to heart. Stay vigilant and always prioritize your digital security. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.